no carb. Welcome back to Pale Dog Tool Company. What are we doing today? First, first thing, before we do anything else, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who subscribes, everybody who watches the channel. We just hit a 1,000 subscribers. As of right now, we are at 1,006. So that means next week, we're gonna do a giveaway. I haven't figured out exactly what we're gonna give away, but there's gonna be a video about it. We're gonna make it, why not? So that's that. What are we doing today? We're talking about power tools. We're talking about one tool in particular. This, this is my track saw. Got it recently. I've been using it a ton. I thought it was worth talking about and giving you a little bit of story and telling you why I ended up with this particular track saw. This is the Wen 36055 track saw. I got this, I got the tracks that go along with it. So how did I end up here? Number one, I am terrified of table saws. They just look like death traps attached to the floor. I wanted to get a track saw. That seemed like a nice little supplement, um, something that was portable, something that didn't take up a lot of space. I could just get on the floor and cut up whatever sheet goods I need to. But when you think of track saws, you obviously think of Festool. Their saws are the bee's knee. Looking into those, the saw on its own is about 500, it's about 600 bucks. By the time you put, you know, you get enough tracks to cut an eight foot sheet, you're seven, 800 bucks for everything. Uh, and then you need the, you know, the, the $500 shop vac. So I started looking at the alternatives. DeWalt makes one, 420, 450 bucks. By the time you get the tracks and all that kind of stuff, you're still up about $600. Uh, Makita makes a really nice one that a lot of people dig. You're about, you know, $100 less than that. So I started looking at less expensive alternatives and I found Grizzly. I like Grizzly. I've got a Grizzly lathe. They're fine. I've never had any problems with them and I haven't really heard of any other people having problems with them. Grizzly makes the T25552. Uh, it's 280 bucks. It comes with 55 inches of track. Cool, well that's it, that's what I'm going with. So I started looking on the internet and I started reading reviews. What I found was people were reviewing the Grizzly and they were also reviewing another one called a Shepik. PL55 is the model and it's, when you look at it, it's exactly the same saw. It's the same specs, uh, the way the outside plate looks, the plastic, everything about it is identical. The only difference is the Grizzly is green plastic, the Shepik is blue plastic. That's it. Both of them are about the same price. So I thought, oh, well, I'm gonna start looking at the reviews of the Shepik and see what else I can find. What I found was there wasn't just the Grizzly and the Shepik, but there were more and more and more of the exact same saw. Um, running through, I found one called the Woodstar Divar 55. Same thing, black plastic, yellow rubber on it. Then I found Shop Fox W1835, this time white plastic with the black rubber. And then I kept going. I found Aldi, if you guys ever shop at Aldi. I've never been to an Aldi. We don't have it in my part of the country. Apparently from time to time, they bring one in. It's called the Taurus, only it's red. So the Grizzly is 280, the Shepik is 280, the Woodstar Diva, which as far as I can tell you can only get in Germany, is 300, the Aldi is 200 bucks. So I kept looking and I ended up finding the Wen. Uh, I, Wen is kind of known for being, having, mm, they're kind of cheap. They're a little bit cheap. So I was a little bit gun shy of it. The Wen 36055 is 159 bucks. $159 with 55 inches of track. Now it doesn't stop there. That's when I found these guys. Matrix by Direct. As far as I can tell, they're a manufacturer. Your average Joe can't buy from these guys. But I found the exact same saw. The PS1200-55. Again, spec-wise, it's exactly the same. Now this was about five months ago. It was when I first started researching everything. It was when I ended up getting this. Since then, it looks like they've discontinued that model and they've replaced it with the PS1200-55-2. Now it's not the same saw as this one, but it looks like the Triton TTS-1400. So what am I getting at with all this rambling? The point of this exercise is that a brand name isn't everything. And a lot of times when you do just a little bit of research, you find that five or six different companies make the same things. And the big thing with the tool companies are, tool companies are not 
tool manufacturers most of the time. The moral of the story is do your research. I don't know enough whether or not to say that this is a good saw or not. It does what I need it to do, it cuts straight. It's a track saw, it needs to cut straight, that's it. That's all it does, that's its one job in life. So that's it, that's the end of my rambling. Uh, next week, we're gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna have a video, we're gonna make a thing, and then we're just gonna give it away. Very excited for the growth of this channel. Uh, I'm super jacked that you guys are enjoying it, that uh, you guys are supporting it. A bunch of you have bought stickers, a couple of you have bought hats, and it is awesome. I am tickled pink that this is a thing that's working and that people actually enjoy it. I didn't think anybody would like this stuff. Um, so yeah, that didn't work. And yes, I realize with the hands and the angle of the table and talking about power tools, uh, what this looks like. Let me tell you something, the guy does not have a monopoly on tabletop hand talking. That's better.